Okay. Um, this is... Here, I'm going to slow it down. This is a trip to the International Space Station by the books. And my vehicle of choice is the XR2 Raven Star. Um, this is a add-on vehicle. And it has the ability to give yourself a payload. So I'm just going to add some fuel tanks. Um, I'll open this up once we're in space. I'll just let you know that this is how much fuel I just gave myself. Um, and that's just extra fuel for the trip. So I'm going to set my MFDs to what I need to set them to. And this is going to be a two-part video. One part will get me in ballistic trajectory to orbit and the second one will be actually docking with the International Space Station. So in this case, the International Space Station I'll need to get take off at 36 degrees, but I am going to go 40 degrees just because that way I can show you one of the aspects of docking. So set your heading Hang on, and then head to 65 degrees. And 65 degrees is a nice number for the Raven Star to ascend at. And we're just going up to around 20 kilometers, 25 kilometers maybe, so we can do the Scram Ascent. Uh, a little about um, the MFDs here. This is the Orbit MFD, and it tells you your orbital information, such as the eccentricity, your apogee, your perigee, and um, the time to both of those. Apogee is the highest point in the orbit. Perigee is the lowest point in the orbit. Um, over here we have the surface MFD on Right here is the speed. Right now it's ground speed, but you can set it indicated airspeed, true airspeed, or orbital speed. Um, altitude, vertical speed, vertical acceleration, which is very helpful, and normal acceleration. Um, here in the middle we have a temperature display that shows the temperature of the exterior of the Raven Star, which is helpful during re-entry and, in this case, during our scram ascent. So we're getting close to 20 kilometers and Mach 3. Mach 3 is when we start Scram Ascent. So I'm just going to open up our Scram doors. And here you can see them. They're right there. Um, so basically the Scram Ascent, uh, my goal is to go as fast as I can you only using Scram engines. So we've hit Mach 3 and I'll start the Scram Ascent. Um, sorry, this is, I'm talking really quickly, just because this happened really fast, the getting to the Scram Ascent is just a really quick thing, but the Scram Ascent takes a while, so, uh, a little note on Scram Ascent. Here you have the diffuser temperature, and that is the temperature of your Scram engines, and it is based on both how fast you're going and the dynamic pressure and a lot on the altitude actually so my goal is to get to around six kilometers per second before I reach 55 kilometers altitude and it's not that difficult you just have to keep the temperature display in the red and you're probably wondering what this line right here is and that is the air itself actually and once I get more leveled out I'll show you what what I mean by that um... hang on okay so because of our speed we are ionizing and heating up the air around us into a plasma, much like we do on re-entry. And we've got a nice re-entry texture there as well, of our hole heating up. But 
that is what we're seeing is the cockpit interior of this um, little orb of air. So you can kind of see the arc that we're seeing in the cockpit, outside the cockpit. So as I mentioned before, I'm just trying to keep my hull as hot as possible without actually killing us all. Because then we won't get into orbit at all. We'll just die. And that's not fun at all. Um, let's see. What else haven't I talked about? Alright, orbital display. Um, there are, I guess, four different modes for this orbiter. Um, MFD. The first is, the default actually is this mode right here, which is um, the ecliptical projection and radial measurements. And what that means is the cross section of the Earth is from the ecliptical plane instead of like equatorial or the plane I happen to be fly flying in. And so it makes it look like I am under the earth when I'm not actually, I'm obviously in the air. Which is why I usually use ship projection. And the um, radial measurements mean that everything here is measured in meters from the center of the very, or the very center of the earth. And I guess it's sort of helpful, but I find that surface is a lot more helpful. So I usually use my MFD in this mode. Um, we are going up too fast. And by the way, even though we're up at 52 kilometers and the air pressure is a mere fraction of a percent what it normally is in on at sea level I am controlling the ship or the airplane solely through um, the AF control which is the um, ailerons right here and the rudders because we're just going fast enough to be able to allow that so normal planes would never be able to fly this high we are higher even than the SR-71 Blackbird could ever fly. This is very, very, very high up. Um, so we're almost out of scram fuel, which means our ascent is, or scram ascent is almost completed. And we are close to six kilometers per second. Not quite there. So what I'm going to do, I slowed it down to 10% of normal speed. Um, I'm gonna close the scram doors and start the rocket main engines I guess and just pull back on the ailerons and you can probably see back here that they're going up and what I'm trying to do here is 52 kilometers is way too um, low for a good old-fashioned orbit and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to raise my apogee to about 160 to 200, probably 200 kilometers. And that way we can just kind of float up to float up to our orbital altitude and then later round it out. So here we go. This is just kind of waiting now. I guess I can do external view because it's a little more interesting to you people watching my good viewers. Oh, by the way, we are passing over, um, well, I guess I should wait to talk about what we're passing over until I'm done with our ascent. So there we go. And now there really isn't enough air, so I switched to RCS mode. And I guess I'll talk about that really quick before I end this video. And I'll talk about what we're passing over. This is Cuba, I think, right here, or that, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're in the we're passing over the Caribbean islands. Um, in fact, I'm going to switch to the map MFD, which is obviously just a map. No, this isn't Cuba. That's Cuba up there. Um, and I'm going to deploy the radiator to keep our coolant cool. If our coolant stops being cool, then I'll die because 
our my environment systems will shut down. So I'm deploying my radio. Anyway, RCS. So RCS are these little rockets that are positioned on the side. There's tubes right there, tubes right there, over here. And they allow you to pitch your craft here. I'll switch. So you can see them firing there. See it firing both nose and tail to go down. You can go you can slew left and right like this or you can roll um, really anything you want you can do so yeah that is my yeah you know, I guess I'll yeah that is orbiter um, or that's I guess getting close to orbiter orbit sorry getting close to orbit and I'll continue this in the next video